Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will discuss the PDF table. So our scenario here is that we want to pull up an opportunity, get the opportunity products, and generate the PDF with it. And we want in the PDF we want to generate a table with all the opportunity products. So let's take a look at our Salesforce integration. In our get, we're getting the opportunity by a lookup field. And our condition is opportunity ID equals our find opportunity lookup value, which is the opportunity ID. And then we're getting all the opportunity products by the condition of opportunity ID equals our opportunity that we got from the lookup field with the opportunity ID. And we're getting all the records. Just set a limit here of 50 and we're mapping the fields into our section. Let's head over to our PDF. So document generation, PDF mapping, and I set up already here some HTML template, and now we're missing the order product. It's opportunity product, and we want to insert this as a table. Okay, so we have our opportunity product, and now we want to insert the table. So I'm right-clicking, and I'm just going to insert a table three by three and let's start mapping our fields so this is going to be header row so i'm going to head over to the cell cell properties do a header cell set this on the row and let's call this product name name this will be price and quantity and in our second row we'll map our fields and the third row it will be a summary row I'll show you how to set it up so first of all let's change the height of this we'll make this the, the font size we'll make this to be 18 and let's take a look at our repeat setting first repeat setting basically says that if you are um, table gets too big you can decide when to break it to a new page in this um, scenario I'm just gonna make it very simple I'm gonna say break after uh, the first break will be after the first line and then we'll break every other line um, we'll break every line after that and then we will render the table header as well so we will be able to see that let's map, map in our fields let's insert our product name and price, right click, insert field, price, apply, insert our quantity, apply that, and we'll leave everything else empty for now. Let's apply, we'll save the form, publish, and let's take a look, let's find an opportunity. And just select. We'll submit. I have a preview before submit on, on my PDF. We can see that it broke every single line. Let's take a look at the print preview. So we can see how it looks. And there we have it. So it broke every line and it gave us the product name at the table header before then. Let's head back to our PDF settings, edit our PDF, let's take off the repeat settings for now, and do the summary row. So I'm just going to select the entire row underneath, head to the cell properties, and we will do And again to our cell, we'll do merge cells. And here I'm just going to write type in total, make this bold, make it a little bigger. And let's add the R total field. So opportunity total. And let's add the dollar sign. 
apply, save. Let's refresh our form. So remember, I took off the repeat settings because our table is very small anyway, so we don't really need it here. So here is our table, and this is our total. The summary row, you can go to the PDF settings again, go to the cell settings, and in the properties, you can say that the horizontal align will be a right. You can apply this. Save. And it will push the total to the right side. Let's take a quick look. Search for edge again. And let's preview this. And there you have it. Total is all the way to the right. You can control every uh, style of of the table, you can do the source yourself, and this is how it's done.